Morgan. 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 <laughs> Getting all geared up to go out for the day. You ready? I'm still in the streets. <laughs> I Let me know what you said. I haven't made my, my, my comeback yet. Yeah, we got it. We have to do yeah, we have to introduce me. I'm sorry. Hi. I think that's good. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just answer the radio uh, check? Yeah, man. Roger. Morgan the man. <laughs> radio check 6-8. <six>, <laughs> in Florida and that is because I had a trip planned with Sabine, Summer and Morgan to leave Florida, fly all the way over to the Baja Peninsula in Mexico where we would meet up with Pepe who is Baja Azul to do this. <laughs> Close your eyes. So the panga actually has wheels and we're gonna drive over the mountain here and then that's where the fish are. This is called the Lanchita 3000 Pro Max. Oh, a Lanchita? Lanchita 3000 300 Pro Max. If you, if you need one, it has only, wheels. The only Hang on, Summer. The only leader in the whole island is Pepe. <laughs> so. hey. Hey on. Summer, you got it? Yeah, it's a like, like five to sixes right now. <laughs> Rollers. Look at those trailers. Okay, everybody, I think we should just We made it. Yeehaw. Our Almost. first. <laughs> <coughs> Phase one complete. Crossing yeah. the border <laughs> I of really... Mag Bay to the Pacific. Look at this. We are officially in the Pacific Ocean. You're a lot more talkative today. I was talkative yesterday, though. Yeah. Yeah. I was super silly. All right. I feel like James Bond. Tell me stuff. It's just funny because I can see myself. What could you see yourself doing? I just see my my smiley face. <laughs> I just have to make up for it. Do you? Are you a Walmart greeter? <laughs> you know, oh, like we're off. They, they rate you like all the... I wouldn't buy that truck if you see it on the marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> all this mess. Everyone's gearing up. No, like, like just put like in bulk letters. Baja Azul, like, like super cheap looking. Baja Azul wetsuits to come. <laughs> I think we're going to be getting in the water here. The Viz is sick. Summer. It's game time, baby. It's game time. Thank you. This is the spot of all spots. Yeah. Right, Sabine? Now I'm going to go ahead and walk you through exactly what's going on here because I know a lot of the people don't really spearfish or dive and they're just watching the video because they want to watch some spearfishing and diving. So I'm drifting down. The water at the surface was really clear and blue. But down deep, it's a, I don't know if it's called a thermocline there, but we call it a thermocline at home. It's green, cold water. Um, and I spotted this grouper. I spotted a really nice grouper at the time. I wasn't sure if it was a broomtail or a gulf grouper. 
but I started following it and I covered a pretty good amount of distance uh, horizontally. I thought that was a big sheep's head that went by also, but I think it actually was a, a Mexican hogfish. Um, anyways, I'm following that grouper. He goes under the ledge. I lost him for a second, but he turned right around and gave me the unicorn shot. Right there, that's the unicorn shot, and you call it the unicorn shot because you just gave that fish a horn. Shot him right through the forehead. Lucky for me, it went lights out, rolled him instantly. No fight, no struggle, no suffer, no losing the fish. It's the best case scenario, stoning the fish, and that's a true stone shot, not a spine shot. That's through the brain. Kills the fish instantly. Still just have to bleed it once we get up to the surface. El Rolo shot. Pepe, there was a nice sheep head down there too. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. Woo! Nice golf, right? It's a golf. He was under the ledge too. I'm happy I stoned him, yeah. He, went, he was like, he went under the ledge, turned around and looked at me. What? Only one you saw? Yeah, that was the only one. Look at this thing's t tongue. Oh, it has like like a parasite. Yeah. What is it? You got a headshot in a cave. <laughs> you want to see? Some Summer got this. That's my fish. So proud. Wait, let me hold it. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, coming in. Joey, that's a good one. That's like a 35, 40 pounder. Tell me how you got it though. I had to pick between that and a sheep's head. And that might not mean much to you guys, but a Pacific sheep's head is a trophy you of can't mine. Chase, you can't say sheep. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> no one's gonna know what that means. That's a sheep's head sign language. Options, baby. Yeah, I followed him for a little bit, and he went under the ledge, and I was like, well, he's gone. Turned right around, stared at me with his head out of ledge. And I hit him with the unicorn shot, which I'm very happy. First fish in the boat. Did not make him run. First of many. Looks like. It's just, a, it's just a later start. That's okay. It's because yeah. high tide's at 12. <laughs> Is what this grouper was spitting up. So long. What about that shot, Morgan? What about that shot? That's a money shot right there. That's the lights out. Wait, go, go sit there. Lower it a little bit and put it. No, you look really good, actually. Thanks. And then turn. Actually, face. You have to face the sun. So go in front of the guns. Like at an angle. I just want to stand. It's yeah. not that big. I'm not doing a push up. That's a nice one. Look at those parasites in his mouth. That makes them extra tasty when you eat them. <laughs> there they are right there. It's story time. We're switching off. The way we do this is Pepe was on the float line and when he heard my gun go off, he started ripping that fish because you can see it was at the ledge. Luckily, I got the stone shot on it, but if you don't and the grouper goes on the ledge, it turns what could have been a 30 second extraction if the fish just came straight up to a 20 or 30 minute if it gets really rocked up or you can lose the fish, it could tear off, all sorts of stuff. So Pepe's on the float line 
and when you pull the trigger, it breaks away from the gun, so the gun's not connected to the fish at all, and he's just ripping on that thing, all six foot six of Mexican strength on him, <laughs> is ripping on that thing. <laughs> he's a strong dude. And he pulls it up right away. He said he didn't even know if I had a fish there. He thought it tore off just because the way it was coming up, not really fighting. But now me and Morgan are in the boat. TV. We got Sabine and Summer out there. I lost them in the glare. Oh, they're back there. But we'll stay tuned and see what they get. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> We gotta keep an eye on them every now and then, see if Sabine gets hers. Very nice. Sabine just made a drop. Where's she at? Where's she at? Pepe's kicking. He's pulling. Yeah! I think she shot something. So see, you can see the line coming behind Pepe. So he's pulling all that float line up. What you got? What you got, Sabine? Let's see it. Some kind of grouper. More Drupa. Nice. Hey, you got him in the boat. I got a fish in the boat. That's another one of those bro broom tails, a little sweeper nice. down there. Very nice. And you said there's a couple? Well, yeah, there's two of them. I, I got a big ass of those two. <laughs> So, not the trophies we're looking for, but it's early in the trip and it's a very nice eating fish. Awesome. A few dives later, we had all been in and out of the water, kind of looking for fish, looking for something to shoot. And at this point, Sabine was up. I heard her gun go off. Pepe starts pulling on the float line. And on my way down, I look at Sabine just to see how she's doing. She did a dance move, so I guess that means she's good. And I could see what she shot. I wanted to get some little filming in there. And it was a really nice golden looking Kubera snapper. These are uh, really similar to the ones we have on the east coast of Florida or on the Atlantic side, I should say. But they're a little bit different. These are Pacific Kuberas, a little different than the ones we have, but really, really similar. Super, super good to eat. And this fish was gonna prove to be an awesome dinner for us tonight. And good shot. Dale. Put it in. Can we have the gun? What's going on? We're resetting. Oh, okay. But you can get that in first. Here, toss that baby over. That's a deep dive. It's 80 here. Best you can, and that's what matters. That's what matters. Chubacabra! That's another nice fish of the day. Hey, I did as best as I could. <laughs> I did my best, What matters is that you're doing the best you can. I'm doing the best I can. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's awesome. We have to use the I 
Sabine speaks 17 languages, so give her a break when it comes to the accent. She forgets what accent goes with English in Mexico. In Mexico? English in Mexico gets a different accent. English and Spanish. No, English went in Mexico. Oh, okay. All right, Summer, you're up. Now it's Summer's turn. She's making her way down there, and since this clip's in the video, you probably guess she's going to find something. Guys, me and Sabine are here on the boat. We just heard some some riffraff. Looks like <laughs> looks like Summer got a fish. Let's see what it is. Margaret or Summer. See a sea lion? Oh. A sea lion just came up on it. Hey! How stoked are you? I'm so stoked. What is it? Broomtail. No. <laughs> <laughs> like a giant sea lion came up on it too. Watch out for the booty oh, too. Alright, let's go over to the boat. Awesome. Beautiful fish. All right, one hand under here. Dude, one you look so little next to <laughs> We made it back. And here's our pile of fish for the day. Just unloaded, getting ready to get cleaned up. We got them. Narrate, narrate for us, what do we got? A lot of fishies, let's go! <laughs> that was a fun day of diving. That's my biggest gulf grouper. But these tails on the broom tails are hard to get over. And we can't forget about Sabine's Kubera. Very nice Kubera snapper. That's all we needed. Mm. <laughs> Grouper baths. Does he have? He has mine or yours? That's mine. Okay, sweet. You're just still there. I have one refresh. I need a picture with that and a picture. Day two, Baja Azul. Photo shoots. <laughs> There's the Kubara. Thanks for the Kubara. Thank you for dinner. Thanks guys for cooking. Thank you, Ivan. Good stuff, good stuff. Ivan killing it over there. Tacos. Thank you, everyone. Pepe. Thank you. <laughs> Look at Munchin. 
Yeah. You were so like. Yes. You were so more high on the Kubera than the Bridgeton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was. I'm. I'm so pissed that I broke out. I should have not shot it. But it's okay. Don't film that. <laughs> people, people don't need to know I'm upset about a small fish. It's more the way you're holding it. You're like... <laughs> But that Kubera yeah, need... is worth it. Okay, time to eat Kubera. Baja Azul dance lessons.